The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. Welcome to Creation is Science, where we learn about our Creator. And today, I see some elements and some things, but I'm not quite sure what we're doing. I'm Aunt Francine, and this is Professor Roy, and he's got something planned out. I think it has to do with dust or something in the ground. And then we have Cheyenne. Hi, Cheyenne. Angel. Hi, Angel. Aiden. Hello. And is our... So what are we doing today? I see some salt and some liquids. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to talk about chemistry a little bit. Chemistry? Yeah, interesting, isn't it? It is yeah. interesting. There's yeah. a lot you can learn from chemistry. That's right. Now, chemistry is interesting because chemistry affects all of our lives. It affects what you eat, what you wear, where we live, uh, building. It affects everything, which is amazing. Now, the building blocks of everything is called an atom, right? The atom's a very small little unit, and so if we can combine atoms, we can form molecules, we can, conform, we can actually form uh, elements. And I actually have a table like this. This is called the what? Can you read that? What does it say? The periodic the table. The right. periodic table. Right, the periodic, periodic table chart. of elements. I like to call now, it. Now, this table. periodic table of elements, it contains all of the elements that are in the entire world. Not only the world, but the entire universe wow. as far as we know. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But what is an element? You know, an element is, uh, if you break something down to an element, then that the only atoms that there are are that of that element, which is interesting. You can like cut a piece of paper down into the smallest little piece of paper that you could possibly get. And you know what you end up with? A little tiny piece of paper, don't you? <laughs> well, and so the element then is what is on this chart over here. There's basically about 92 different elements in the entire universe as far as we know, which is interesting too. Yeah. Now, what we have is we've got a little experiment that we're gonna do. Actually, we're gonna do a few experiments, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this little beaker right here, and let's see, and this holds about a thousand milliliters. I'm gonna be using a, a chemical. In fact, this is something that's really, really interesting. In fact, it's called instant snow. Oh, instant snow. oh yeah, I've done that before. Oh, well, that's good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about a hundred milliliters of this. Now, what the, the chemical, that we're gonna use is, this is called sodium polyacrylate, okay? Sodium polyacrylate. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put about a, a hundred milliliters of this powder in here. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's shake this around. Let's see, I'm gonna have to put it on a flat surface so that I can see how much I've got in there. And let's see, I think I'm gonna have to add a little more in there. Okay, I think we've got just about enough in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add something. First of all, I'm gonna put my glasses on yep. so that I can have it. I'm gonna put my reading glasses on so I can see better. Okay, I think we're in good shape, all right? And then I'm going to put some water in it. We're going to put some water in there. We're gonna use some cold water. I'm gonna pour it in here. Let's see if we can get a little reaction. We should get a little reaction to take place. Are we ready? Okay, how about yep. a countdown? Three, two, one. Three! Two, one, I'm gonna go! Pour all this water in there. Let's pour all that water in there, right about like that. Let's see what happens as we watch that. Let's see what's going on. Oh, what's happening uh -oh. here? Now that's interesting. What's happening? It's foaming at the top. <laughs> that's interesting. These little particles, these are little tiny particles, and they're like the about the size of uh, maybe sugar or maybe salt, but they like water and they want to absorb a tremendous amount of water. In fact, each one of those little tiny particles can absorb about 800 or 900 times its own weight in water. Wow. So we end up with something that we call instant snow. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. That is interesting. It we feels have weird. instant snow. 
Now that is really kind of cool. You know what? I think maybe we could have you do that as well. Would that be fun? Yes. Okay, let's see what we've got. You've got a couple of cups over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, I'm gonna put a, a, a tablespoon of that in yours. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that in there. Let's see, uh, could you help us with some water? Okay. They're going to need a little bit of water. Hang on, let's put this in there. And I'm gonna put that one in there as well. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put some water. Now, I want you to take, and I want you to fill that up very quickly with water, okay? Let's see if we got a little reaction to take place over there. While you're doing that one, I'm gonna do these over here. See what happens to hers. Oh, what's going on over there? Angel, what's happening to yours? It, it's expanding. It's expanding. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, are you ready for yours? Oh, let's watch hers. Cheyenne's gonna pour. You're gonna pour yours? Pour okay. It quickly. Pour it in quickly. Very quick, quickly. Quick, 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 quick. Very quickly. Okay. Gotta pour it all the way up to the top. <laughs> there, there it goes. And it's barely coming over here. <laughs> okay, all right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, I'm gonna put yours over there. I'm gonna pour some of yours in there, like that. Okay, now watch yours. Let's see what happens with his. Is that gonna absorb Whoa, a tremendous amount of water? Look oh, at that. Even... Oh, wow. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's pour some more in yours. Well, let's put it right there and watch yours. Let's see what happens with yours. Okay, all right. Now, is it all, has it expanded? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, now just, just take your finger and stick your finger in there. Is that warm or cold? Cold. Oh. Okay, it has a little bit of a thermal reaction and it starts to get a little bit of coldness. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I think that is really cool. Now, what we're gonna do is I brought something else here that I wanted to show you. I've got some little tiny beads right here. Let me hand you a little bead right here. Okay, grab a hold of that bead. Okay, there we go. You can have one of these too. Now, these little beads are also related. Why don't you give each okay. one of them one of those little beads? Each one of those little beads is related to that snow polymer that we had right here, which is interesting to me. Now, I'm gonna take, and I'm going to give you one of these right here. Here you go, hang on to that. That little white bead, or that little bead that looks like a little plastic bead, is oh. exactly the same thing as one of these little water marbles. So give one of yes, them please. to them, okay? Are we gonna make our beads? That's right. That little bead in your hand, it absorbed enough water and it became it's that broke. large. Isn't that interesting? It's broken. That's interesting. Yeah, it, they all break. They all break. So don't worry about it because broken. we can't keep them from breaking, which is interesting. They're very, very fragile. But Especially look at that little tiny little bead. That little bead is uh, hydrophilic and it likes a lot of water. So absorb a it absorbs a tremendous amount of water. Now, I've got some water marbles in here. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna give each one of you three, okay, of the water marbles. We're gonna put them in your cup. Here, let me put it in your hand. You and you can, put, you can put those in your cup. One. Just right. the additional ones. Not there you go. Two. We can put this in your cup. Put those water marbles in your cup. Can you do that? Okay, put them Here's in that. your large cup, your big cup. Put them in your big cup. Put them in your big cup, okay. Now, those happen to be sodium polyacrylate. Now, sodium, what is sodium? What's sodium? Salt. salt. It's salt, isn't it? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add some more sodium to your cup and you have a little, uh, that kind of looks like a tongue depressor or something, right? <laughs> and so you're gonna stir this up, but I'm gonna put some salt in your big cup and you're gonna stir it around. Are you ready? Is yours in there? Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt or a lot of bit of salt. Okay, in your cup, you can stir that around and see what happens, see what happens. See if we can come up with a little bit of a reaction right here, okay? There we go, let's get some more in yours, okay? Here we go, let's pour some salt in there. Something should happen because of the reaction of the salt, the sodium chloride is our table salt, and mix that around with your stick. You got your stick? Okay, mix that around. Did you get some? I. I have some in there. I probably have okay. one out. Okay, that's fine. What? That's fine. We're gonna go and we're gonna it put some of your salt right, in there. Yeah, you... What's happening? It looks... Nothing. Nothing's happening? Grab it. You're kidding. Nothing is happening? What's happening? Nothing. Nothing? Breaking up. It's just breaking up? It's just breaking up? Yeah. Anything happening at all? Is yours no. just breaking up too? It's okay, let's put clear. some more salt in there. There you There's go. Nothing. Huh? It, it's. Is it changing into something? Soupy. 
Is it changing into dirt? <laughs> What's it changing? Oh, what, there it is. What about the consistency? Is the consistency changing? Yeah. Okay, those cool. big water marbles were solid, weren't they? Yeah, I know it's breaking. Huh? It's breaking. Okay, stir it up real fast. Let's go mix it all the way up. It should turn into a liquid. It should turn into a liquid. What? Isn't that interesting? I no think way. so. Now, I've got, I've got uh, a, I still don't have any. Is it turning into a liquid? Mine, oh, mine, is. mine is. Yours is, good. Keep stirring, yeah, keep stirring. Good. I wanna show you, okay, stop stirring, Ren Man. I wanna show you something very interesting that a lot of people don't get a chance to see. But this is a little tiny bottle. It's brand, it's actually, it's never been opened. We're not gonna open it, but this happens to be mercury. Isn't that interesting? Part of mercury. We have to be very, very careful with mercury because it's poisonous. And that's what? interesting. We don't even want to get it on our skin, so we have to be careful. But this weighs one pound. This little tiny bottle weighs one pound. Isn't that interesting? Yes. And that is mercury. Mercury is very, in very interesting element. Hey, we've got one more experiment right here. Let's see what we've got. I happen to have a balloon right here, and I want everybody to go over there. Walk on over there. Yeah, just leave your stuff. Leave your stuff. Okay, leave your stuff. Walk on over there. And you know what? <laughs> Auntie Francine, she's gonna uh, blow up some um, balloons for us. So, yay! Okay. so that on. <laughs> what's that? What's this gonna be filled with? Yes. You don't need I, that? I don't know. Okay, you just wanna be deaf, okay? okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Now, we've got an element in that blue balloon over here. That blue balloon happens to have hydrogen in it. And so I'm going to light this. Oh, yes, and it's going to You're going to light that balloon on fire. And then we're going to add something to the hydrogen. There's hydrogen in the balloon. We're going to get a beautiful hydrogen ball of fire. Are you ready? Explosion. Yeah. Okay, cover your ears. It makes a loud noise. Let's go. Here we go. Three, two, one, and three, two, one, and. Hold, 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 hold. Whoa. Oh my, oh my. That scared, that scared me. That scared you? It scared you. Now we had a reaction. Okay, blow that flame out for us. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another element to the hydrogen. The element that we're gonna add to the hydrogen I happens to be oxygen. So we have our yellow balloon right here. And what we're gonna do is we're, we just added, I added some oxygen to that hydrogen, but now we've got a tremendous amount of more power. We have oh, a tremendous amount power. of power and it's gonna be extremely okay, loud. To You've gotta cover ears. your ears. Are we ready? Okay, and we wanna to touch it right about there. Okay, well, countdown, let's go. Three, two, two one. one. And Oh, did you hear the difference? I felt it. Yes, That's... we felt the concussion of that sound wave. That oh, was interesting. Oh, that Isn't was... that amazing? That was amazing. That is amazing. Well, we oh my goodness. All the way over there. That yep. was a Even lot away. of energy, a lot of power. That was so exciting. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. I yeah. thought it was so much oh, fun. Oh, now it's a liquid. You know what? So I'm good. thinking oh. of a Bible text in Genesis 2, verse 7. Cheyenne, you want to grab that Bible first for me? Let's see. Oh, here's the Bible. Genesis 2, verse 7. You know, we know that every particle, and I just have to talk a little bit about that salt. You know, salt is very interesting. If we have 15 little granules, you know how small that salt is? If we had 15 of those, that would make one gram, about 15 and a half. And that little gram, if we had 250 grams, that's how much salt is in our body. All of us are from what? Read that Bible text for us, Cheyenne. And the Lord God formed, formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. And man became a living being. So we're all just what? We were all created from what? From the elements. From the elements from the earth, right? And it was only because of the breath of who breathed into the nostrils? God. For God. And it's because we have God in our lives that we can live for Him. Thank you for joining us on Creation is Science! Science!